Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Green Room. So, Green Room stars Anton Yelchin and Imogen Poots, and Green Room is about this punk rock band that goes to play at a neo Nazi club. But then they witness a murder and this murder gets them trapped inside a green room. So it's up to this punk rock band to basically survive and escape. So before I review Green Room, I actually do have a guest reviewer for this film. And that guest reviewer is WWE Fan 0599. He will give you his thoughts and then I will give my thoughts. So WWE Fan, take it away. Hey, what's up, you guys? WWE fan 0599 here again, and today we're going to review Green Room. So, what did I think of Green Room? I was really looking forward to this movie because I thought the trailers were great. Yeah, you know, I thought the trailers were really great to the movie, and the movie had a lot of hype around it. Honestly, the movie did have a lot of hype around the film. I gotta say, I was disappointed. I really was. I was really, really disappointed in this movie. Now, I didn't hate this movie. Now, let me say this. If you love or even like this movie, great. I am glad you enjoyed this movie. This, I can see why people like this movie. Trust me, I do. Just like with The Witch, I can see why people like this movie. But I just didn't get it. I just didn't really know what was so great about it. I just thought it was just meh, really. It was just okay, to be honest. My positives with the film are, um, the acting. At least just three people in the film, really, I thought were really good. First, Anton Yelchin. He was really good. He was great, honestly. I thought he, you know, did a really great job in the movie. Um, the one girl that was in the band, I actually thought she was really good, too. Um, I really enjoyed her in the film. I thought she did a good job as well. But the one that gives the best performance in the entire film is Patrick Stewart. Patrick Stewart was intimidating as this villain and just and he's not like all angry and stuff he's still the calm and collected Patrick Stewart that we all know and love but he's menacing at the same time and I thought he was just absolutely great in this movie so there were some really really intense moments in this movie to be honest I thought the intense moments were really, really good I think they really really did a really good job with the film I thought the way they handled the violence in the movie was really good as well. It didn't feel grotesque. It didn't feel like, oh, here's just violence for the sake of violence. No, it felt real and it felt like it needed to be needed at those points. And the biggest positive that I can give this movie is the directing. The directing is beautiful with this movie. This is one of the best directed films of the year. I love the directing with Green Room. The Green Room had some excellent 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 directing with it now let's get into my negatives because i do have a lot of negatives with the film and first being that it's one of my biggest problems it's not the biggest problem but it's one of the biggest problems and that is the acting in the film it's pretty bad honestly and i just didn't care about any of these characters mostly a lot of the characters i didn't care for like imogene poots's character i could care less about her character she it's just like oh she was there when the murder happened, now she's stuck with them. That's basically all it is. And I just didn't really care for her. Same goes with the other two band, band members. I didn't really care for those characters either, you know? And plus their acting was really, really atrocious. And the worst actor probably in the entire film is this guy that plays like this bodyguard. Who's like body, bodyguarding the door and stuff. Man, he was bad. Plus he gives the weakest clothesline I've ever seen in my life. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. Man, that was bad. If something happens to these characters, I won't care. Because I didn't care for them. They are very underdeveloped. That's why I wish they would have done more as well. Develop these characters a little bit more. The movie's only an hour and 35 minutes. It could have been a little bit longer to develop these characters. To where I care about them. But I just didn't. Oh my goodness. The dialogue is really 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 bad with this movie the only people like i said that were able to at least speak some good dialogue were anton yelchin the girl that was in the band and patrick stewart that's it everyone else whoa what what were they doing really this dialogue was awful i never felt like the movie fully grasped its its um premise like these guys are trapped in this room all intensity starts to happen i never really they like never thought they fully grasped on it 
and they could have done a lot better with it. A lot of people have been saying that, like, oh, it's the modern day sauce, so that got me a little bit excited too. So, are we gonna see, like, maybe, like, someone sets up a bear trap and then someone steps on him, maybe, like, crushes their foot? Maybe, maybe some traps like that. Not like saw traps or anything, but I was thinking, like, traps like that. You know what I mean? But no, it, it doesn't even do that at all, really, honestly. Some of the character decisions were really, really stupid, honestly. And, you know, I just felt like punching them in the face with some of the decisions that they make. First off, why would you make a decision to play at a neo-Nazi group band? Like a group bar. Like, seriously, even if I was, if I had no money, I wouldn't even take that offer. Because it's a stupid thing to do. It really is, and just the, some of the stupid things that these characters do in, these, in this movie were really, really bad. This movie had some really, really, really bad writing. It's one of the worst screenplays of the year, at least I think so. It really is. This, this was atrocious, this writing. The pacing, oh my goodness, this movie is so boring. It's so boring and bland. And the ending, man, the ending was so abrupt to this movie. Like, really, it was. I'm not gonna spoil it, but just, it was so abrupt, like, so out of place. Even I went at, at the ending, okay? Like, just, it was so abrupt and just so, like, up oh, and credits. I was just like, what? Overall, guys, Green Room is not a terrible movie, but at the same time, it's not good either. Honestly, it's my most overrated film of the year so far. So, aside from my official grade on Green Room, and my official grade on Green Room is a C. Like I said, not a bad movie, just wasn't that impressed with it, to be honest. And like I said, if you love this movie, or if you even like the film, good for you. I'm glad you enjoyed the movie. You know, of course, I'm not going to bash your opinion if you enjoyed it. You know, I'm glad you enjoyed it. It's just, I just didn't. I just didn't really find what was so great about it, like most people were saying about the film. So, yeah. So, what did you guys think of Green Room? Leave them in the comment section below. I'm WWE Fan 0599, and we'll see you all later. Peace. Thank you so much, WWE Fan 0599, for reviewing Green Room. So, when it comes to Green Room, I know this is a film that has a lot of really great reviews out there. But personally, I wasn't really all that interested in this film. I saw the trailer for this film when I went to go out and see Midnight Special, and when I saw the trailer, I just wasn't really impressed by it. I'm just not a fan of these kind of movies. But of course, I try to give as many films a chance as possible, and I want to give Green Room a chance. You know, just to form, of course, my own opinion. And I want to see if I agree with the positive reviews it's getting. And unfortunately, I don't agree with the positive reviews because Green Room was just an alright movie to me. I didn't hate Green Room. I don't regret seeing Green Room. I'm glad I gave it a chance, but I'm going to be honest. I wasn't really feeling this movie. So to start off with my positives with Green Room, Anton Yelchin is really good in this film. This guy really has a talent and he just has this range that he always brings his characters and that range continues in this film. Anton Yelchin is definitely one of the best things to come out of Green Room. He was really good in this film. There's also Emogen Poots. I actually thought Emogen Poots did a really good job. Didn't really care about her character but I thought Emogen Poots did a really good job. And there's this other female in this film that I really liked. I forgot the actress's name. I do apologize, but I actually thought she did a very good job in this film. Patrick Stewart. Okay. This is a guy that is known for being typecasted as this hopeful person where life is all about hope. We need to have hope in our life. You know, mainly referring to him playing Professor Xavier in the X-Men movies. That's not the Patrick Stewart in Green Room. That's really not Patrick Stewart. This guy is intimidating as hell. And the great thing about Patrick Stewart's character is that Although he's intimidating, he just has this calm and soothing voice. He doesn't have to shout. Just him speaking at a very low tone, but saying all these intimidating things 
really makes him stick out, really makes him shine as the antagonist. And although his screen time isn't anything huge, the screen time that he has for this film, man, I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty much at the edge of my seat every time Patrick Stewart came on screen. The film is also beautifully shot. It had really breathtaking cinematography going for it. There's a lot of very cool shots of when they're outside, when they're inside the green room. Definitely when it comes to the filmmaking, Green Room really excels at that. It really excels when it comes to cinematography and when it comes to its direction. There are a couple of moments that I did find to be a little bit intense. I was never like, oh my god, at this movie, if I have to be honest. But there were a couple of moments where I went, oh shit. That's actually pretty intense, because this movie actually is violent. And I do feel like just sometimes, not really a whole lot of times, but just sometimes, I can be a little bit intrigued by what's going on in the film. But when it comes to my negatives with Green Room, the first thing I have to say is that the pacing of this movie drags like a snail. I was really bored watching Green Room because the movie just moves at such a slow pace. It's not interesting and I can actually enjoy a film with slow pacing. I actually like a slow paced movie when it's done right. And once we do get to the trap section of this movie, the movie takes way too long to finally get there. If it was actually interesting, it wouldn't be a problem, but because I'm not really interested in the buildup, that's where I'm not interested in this film. And it's so freaking hard to get attached to any of these characters. The only character I got attached to were really Anton Yelchin. Just really Anton Yelchin. Everyone else, you know, Emogen Poots, even though I said I really liked her, I couldn't even really get attached to her character all that much. I definitely cared about her more than most of the characters in this film, I'll say that for sure. But even her, I couldn't really get attached to her all that much. It's really Anton Yelchin I got attached to, and he's really the only character I actually gave a shit about. And it's kind of sad when I'm rooting for Patrick Stewart a neo-nazi crazy dude more than a lot of the characters which is not good also I was surprised how tensionless the film was during the trap scenes like I said there were a couple of times where I did feel like it was a little bit tense but for the majority once we do get to the section where the characters have to survive I honestly wasn't feeling any tension when it comes to this film and that's really a bummer honestly oh and my god the dialogue in this film most of the dialogue is so poorly written when it comes to how the storyline is written and all that in this film it's actually okay i think storyline wise when it comes to the writing it is at an okay level it's just that when the characters talk for the majority that's where i did feel like it was crappy just when it comes to the dialogue, I felt like it really fell flat. And the decisions some of these characters make are just so stupid. There's a lot of stupid scenes in this movie that honestly had me going, what in the hell am I freaking watching? Oh yeah, not to mention, look, I know this is a movie and all, but the fact that the punk rock band even got themselves to play at a neo-Nazi club in the first place, wow, that was real smart thinking, like, Bravo to these characters. Such smart thinking on their part. I am just truly amazed at how smart they were to actually think that playing at a neo-Nazi club would be such a great idea. Thought the last 10 minutes of the movie, it was, without spoiling anything, it was more calmer, it was more quiet, and I was really appreciating the quietness of the climax. But then, as I'm actually getting semi into the climax, the movie just ends abruptly. Overall, you guys, I wasn't really feeling Green Room. I'm going to be honest. The movie 
doesn't really grab me. There's definitely things to admire like the direction, the cinematography, Anton Yelchin, Imogen Poots, and Patrick Stewart's performance, and the other girl in the group as well, which once again, I don't know the name, but those were really good performances. It had a concept that was cool, but the thing is that it never really uses its concept to its full potential. And most of all, I just couldn't get attached to most of the characters. It was really hard to actually get attached to the characters because I didn't really give a shit about them. So Green Room to me is by no means a terrible movie. I didn't hate it, but I didn't like it either. It was just very meh. I am going to be fair and give Green Room two out of four stars. It's just very forgettable. Wasn't really all that into it, but like I said, I didn't hate it. There's things to admire in it, but yeah, uh, I guess I just wasn't meant to really enjoy this film. But that's just my opinion. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about the movie Green Room. And I would also love to thank WWE Fan0599 for giving his opinion on Green Room. If you guys want to check out his channel, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below. And also, you guys, I just want to mention that I actually got to be on Real Chase Lee's podcast. He's a cool movie reviewer. He's a cool podcaster. It was just so cool to actually appear in his podcast because I do love listening to his podcast podcast you know in that episode we reviewed Keanu together him and I reviewed Keanu together green room he got to review by himself and I got to ask him a couple of questions regarding green room so that's very interesting and then we do talk about trailers and then we do talk about movie news and then we do talk about box office I recommend checking out his channel you guys because he's personally one of the most underrated youtubers out there so if you guys want to check out his channel and check out that episode where I get starred in his podcast. I'm going to leave a link in the description down below. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.